Aloha and good afternoon. Welcome to your joint committee on education and higher education and technology. Today's date is April 11th and it's 2 p.m. and we're in conference 309. We are going to first take up HCR 144, uh, urging the Department of Education, University of Hawaii Community Colleges, and Hawaii P20 partnerships for education to develop clear pathways for students in Department of Education, Career, and Technical Education ac Academies to seamlessly continue their education in career and technical education programs at University of Hawaii Community Colleges. Phew. Okay. So for this one, we first we have DOE providing testimony in support in person. Martin stands on his testimony in support. Okay, mahalo. Next, we have Hawaii P20 Partnerships for Education it's providing support in person. Aloha, Stephen Schatz, Executive Director of Hawaii P20 Partnerships for Education, also the State Director of Career and Technical Education. Stand on our written testimony in support and happy to answer any questions. Mahalo. Okay. We also have testimony in support from University of Hawaii, as well as testimony in support from Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. Is there anybody else wishing to testify on this measure? SCR 144? Okay, please go ahead and state your name and uh, for the record. Okay, Angela Melody Young testifying on behalf of CARES. Um, in strong support of um, creating partnerships and developing career pathways for students um, to enhance their um, career um, development strategies. Um, so when we look at the P20 um, report um, from hawaiip20.org, um, so P20 produces a college and career readiness indicator report called the CCRI to provide research and data on readiness outcomes, which show how well high schoolers meet the Department of Education's vision of a Hawaii public school graduate. And um, the P20 strengthens the education pipeline from early childhood through college and provides training with um, data-informed decision-making skills, advocacy, policy coordination, and shared action. Um, and the work is focused on high expectations and equitable access so all students can be equipped um, to thrive in school um, and in uh, developing their um, career and in life. Um, so um, as adults, you know, we really want to train and equip and empower children, right? Um, to show them um, the things that they should prepare for and to um, get for them programs, right? And resources and classes um, and internships um, so that they can be ready for life. Um, so I think this is a really good resolution um, to strengthen Hawaii's education pipeline. Um, yeah, and um, as adults and parents, um, we really want to um, create a brighter future for the next generation. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Is there anyone else wishing to testify on this measure? Okay, seeing none, members, any questions? Okay, seeing none, um, we are... Do I end and then roll to the next agenda? Okay. Um, we are going to adjourn this um, uh, recess, this agenda. Okay, we are reconvening on the second agenda for the House Committee on Education. Um, today's April 11th for the 201 p.m. agenda. We are in conference room 309. And first up, we have SCR 142, urging the Department of Education to study the impact of teacher salary step movements on salary schedule compression. So first up, we have Department of Education providing comments. Good afternoon, Ken Kakiasak with the Department of Education. We are um, standing on our testimony, providing comments, just that we have done a salary survey uh, as of January 20th, 2020. 
So just recently having done that, and that resulted in the teacher compression um, compensation, um, we are thinking having another salary survey so soon would be, um, might be a little premature. Also, it does come with a cost. So we're not necessarily opposed to it, but it is uh, at a price tag of $100,000. Nice, good music. But at a price tag of $100,000, um, it is something that would come at a cost as well. So if that is the desire for the, the committee to do, we would want to figure out maybe a way to cost share that with HSTA if they are also um, being involved in this, in this process as well. So thank you for the opportunity to testify. Thank you. Next up, we have Osa Tui with Hawaii State Teacher Association providing testimony in support. Aloha. Vice Chair Lachika, members of the committee, Osatui, President, Hawaii State Teachers Association. Uh, yes, they did a salary study January 2020. Since then, we had bargaining 2021 and bargaining 2023. And they said, oh, well, you know, we compression's been fixed. Congratulations. But nothing about the underlying structure has been fixed, and compression could come back again at any time. And we've already had to come to the legislature once and beg you folks, please fix this issue that's, you know, that's been a problem. We don't want to have to come back again, and they've not done anything in two bargains to make any changes to the salary schedule or do something that would address fixing compression in the future. And so if they need to do another salary schedule about how, or another salary study about how can we avoid compression where the answer is not come back to the legislature and beg when you know it becomes a big problem, uh, I think that's important. So uh, with regards to cost, uh, it is costing our keiki a lot by not getting this addressed. And so um, that's all I want to say about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all the testifiers we have um, on this measure. Is there anyone else wishing to testify? Okay, seeing none, members, questions? Okay. For the department. Hi. Hi. So. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, um, is it absolutely necessary to conduct another salary study to develop the analysis necessary to even contemplate this um, kind of measure? Because uh, we have been talking about it for a long time. This has been a longstanding conversation. So why is it the department's position that you would need to do yet another salary study? So it is not the department's position that we need to do another salary uh, study. We're actually saying we don't think we need to do a, another one at this point. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yes, we do have a lot of data. We have a lot of information. I am not, I, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not the uh, assistant superintendent of, of our talent management office, mm -hmm. so I can get back to him on that. But I do believe we have enough information that we could start having that conversation. Okay. And then, um, you know, with respect to what the president of HSTA has said about um, this particular item on the table, um, is there a commitment from the department to have this conversation at the, at the table? I would have to double check. I wouldn't want to speak above um, my pay grade, so I wouldn't be able to respond to that, but mm. I can get back to you on that. I would mm -hmm. appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Members, any other questions? Just quick question for the department. So in the study, the teacher salary study you mentioned in your testimony, I yes. mean, it's clear that you know, the intent is really to just ensure certainty, right? Predictability for teachers that want to be able to stay on island. So what has, given all the bargaining that has happened since, so what, and the fee stakeholder feedback that you've received since then, so what has the department done, af you know, post kind of study to address the, the concerns of, you know, not having this sense of certainty and predictability with salary? So the biggest thing that we, um, we went forward with was getting the, the funding to address compression, right? So that was the first time and I, I don't know how long, and it did cost a lot of money. Um, and that is something that we went forward with to address that issue. Um, and so that is the way that, w one of the ways that we've been going forward to, to address that. If you're talking about as longer term in, as, as far as teachers and trying to keep teachers uh, employed and, and um, with the department. There's a number of strategies that have been going on, including uh, teacher differentials for those hard to fill, uh, as well as um, there's also a CTE differential that was, uh, that was given by the legislature as well. So there's a number of different activities. 
as well as you know our grow our own programs I think that's going to be what you uh, talk about in the next um, resolution as well so a number of different avenues and um, strategies we're using to try to make sure that we both have a pipeline of teachers as well as do our best to ensure that they stay with the department so the post actions were um, focus on the compressions and differentials but not necessarily on the step salary kind of increment you know process I cannot speak okay. to that one so okay. yeah I would have to Thank check you. that mm -hmm. okay. any other questions okay seeing none let's move on to our last um, resolution SCR 98 let me read that one out um, requesting the Department of Education to partner with the Hawaii State Teachers Association and teacher education programs at local universities and colleges to provide pathways for school support personnel to become full-time teachers. First up, we have Department of Education providing testimony in support. Good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee, Sean Arai, Director of Personnel Development for the department. The department stands on its written testimony in support. Next up, we have University of Hawaii providing testimony in support, not present. Um, we have Hawaii State Teachers Association providing testimony in support. Thank you. And then finally, we have an individual providing testimony in support. Anyone else wishing to testify on this measure here or online? Okay, seeing none, member. Oh, yes, on SCR 98. Okay, go ahead. Aloha, Angela Melody Young testifying um, in strong support on behalf of CARES. Um, I like to be supportive of other groups, so I'm testifying. I believe things can be accomplished if we work together. Um, so this resolution is in support of the teacher education programs at local universities and schools um, to provide career development strategies um, for students that want to be teachers. So um, what's like a really good program that can be enhanced to produce more teachers, right? To um, train them to be um, Department of Education public school teachers. Um, we can look at the University of Hawaii, the College of Education, um, the School of Teacher Education. It has a degree, certificates and licensure programs being offered um, in the bachelor's in education, in um, elementary education with a minor in secondary education. Um, and so um, this um, program from the University of Hawaii also has classes um, to teach about elementary um, and special education, a dual degree, and also a dual elementary and Hawaiian language immersion education um, class, as well as an early childhood education um, and multilingual learning with uh, childhood uh, special education um, focuses. So um, this is really good to equip um, the teachers who will be teaching at the public schools um, and yeah, um, by creating the pathways and strengthening the partnerships with University of Hawaii, um, potentially, and also with um, HSTA and the Department of Education, um, if they work together, um, it will produce better classes and um, more internships and courses um, to help the students to become teachers who will create brighter futures. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to testify on this measure? Okay, seeing none, members, questions? Go ahead. Uh, for the president of HSTA, please. <clears throat> so you mentioned in your testimony um, the uh, existence of tech and, um, you know, are you saying that the DOE is not currently part of tech? No, DOE is absolutely part of tech. I'm just saying that we have Process. We have structures that are in place that, so there's no reason why this can't pass. Because it's already being done in tech, right? Sort of, yes. Oh, how would it change the work that tech is doing? Uh, that one, we're working on the strategic, well, I don't, the strategic plan for tech is, is being uh, in process for the next couple of years. Like okay. There was a meeting today, and... Um, Sorry, I don't have the further details. Okay, so this work could be folded <clears throat> into based into tech Absolutely. based on how so. you design your strategic plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Members, any other questions? Okay, seeing none, we are going to recess for decision making.
Okay, we are reconvening the Joint Committee on Education and Higher Education and Technology for decision making for the first resolution on the agenda, SCR 144, urging the Department of Education, University of Hawaii Community Colleges, and Hawaii P20 Partnerships for Education to develop clear pathways for students in the Department of Education. Career and Technical Education Academies to seamlessly continue their education in career and technical education programs at University of Hawaii Community Colleges. We are going to pass this as is. Members, questions, comments, concerns? Okay, seeing none, Rep. Mizuno for the vote. Okay. For SCR 144, um, Vice Chair's recommendation is to pass as is. Um, Representative Woodson is excused. Representative La Chica. Aye. Representative Capella. Aye. Representative Martin. Is excused. Representative Martinez. Aye. Representative Matayoshi. Excused. I vote aye. Representative Peruso. Aye. Representative Quinlan. Aye. Representative Todd. Aye. Representative Garcia. Aye. Vice Chair, your recommendation is adopted. Uh -huh. Members of Higher Education and Technology, um, same recommendation. Any questions or concerns? Seeing none, Vice Chair for the vote. Sorry, we're, sh we're sharing a mic. Um, uh, voting on SCR 144, Chair's recommendation is to pass unamended. Um, chair and Vice Chair vote aye. Representative La Chica. Aye. Representative Martin is excused. Representative Martinez. Aye. Representative Matayoshi is excused. Representative Mizuno. Aye. Representative Quinlan. Aye. Representative Todd. Aye. Representative Woodson is excused. Representative Garcia. Aye. Chair, your recommendation is adopted. Hey, thank you, members. We're going to go, um, we're going to adjourn the Joint Committee on Education and Higher Education and roll right into the Committee on Education, second agenda, till 1 p.m. For the first measure, SCR 142, urging the Department of Education to study the impact of teacher salary step movements on salary schedule compression. We are going to pass this as is. Members, questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, Rep. Mizuno for the vote. Vice Chair's recommendation is to pass assets for SCR 142 SD1. Noting the absence of Representative Woodson, Matayoshi, and Martin, any reservations or no's? Seeing none, your recommendation is adopted. Thank you. For our last measure, SCR 98, SD1, requesting the Department of Education to partner with the Hawaii State Teachers Association and teacher education programs at local universities and colleges to provide pathways for school support personnel to become full-time teachers. We are going to also pass this measure as is. Members, comments, questions, concerns? Seeing none, Rep. Mizuno for the vote. Voting on SCR 98, SD1, noting the absence of Representative Woodson, Martin, and Matayoshi, any reservations or no's? Reservations. Reservations for Rep. Garcia. Any reservations or no's? Saying none, your recommendation is adopted. Thank you so much, members. We are adjourned. <laughs>